Hey, from the Pacific Northwest, let's take some measurements to see if these Jeep wheels are interchangeable. We'll get measurements off the backspacing and offset and the hub sizes, and maybe even see if they'll fit on an AMC Eagle. To calculate the offset, we need to subtract half the width, which is the center line, from the backspace. The newer wheels have the offset stamped right on the back. There's no issue in swapping wheels between all the Cherokees, XJs. Every wheel measured at five and a quarter inch backspacing, and all the Jeep wheels were close to that 31.75 millimeter offset. They're all within the recommended maximum five millimeter difference. Unfortunately, the AMC's OEM Steelys have like 10 millimeters different offset from the turbine wheels. So double the recommended maximum difference, even though they still have five and a quarter inch backspacing. So we'll have to wait and see if we run the turbines on the Eagle full time. And the more I look at these steelies, I'm not getting the warm and fuzzies. Uh, the holes look out of shape and, and crushed over the years, I guess, over torquing and, and who knows. It's not looking good. I didn't think that the Cherokee rims would fit around the hubs, but they cleared it, they fit. The specs that I found was 71.5 millimeter hub sizes on the Cherokees, and on the Eagle it was closer to 72.2. Strange that I measured 71.84 outside of diameter. So we'll give these turbines a try, but the, the newer ones, you wouldn't be able to get the center cap on the mag. Fifteen by the seven inch turbine wheels fit on the Eagle. The hub's clear and everything. The two thirty fives rub on the fender flare. I'm hoping to get some all-terrain 215s in the future but even with these different wheels there's still a vibration coming from the back when braking well back to oem steelies for now or we can do skinnies in the front and fatties in the back like a sand drag mad max type of thing so we'll have to see which combo we go with. Till next time, take care.